Okay, so I just finished my first workout with Torque Fitness The Tank. Uh, this is a, uh, it's pretty much a sled on wheels. It works with magnetic resistance to increase the amount of resistance that you experience while pushing it up and down the floor. Uh, I gave it a go with 100 lengths up and down our gym floor today and great workout. Uh, thing I like best about this uh, machine is that it does offer a lot of variety. So you'll see in the video probably, I'm not too sure, maybe seven, eight or nine different movements that I did uh, with the tank, which is great. Some of them you would not be able to do with a regular sled and it works great on a rubber floor. Um, I'm not sure how long the workout took me. I definitely had to take breaks here and there. Um, it's uh, yeah, a lot of fun, great workout. Definitely check out the tank. Uh, thanks to the guys at Fitness Experience for lending it to us over the weekend. All right, so we're starting out with just a basic push here. I've got uh, 180 pounds on for the entire workout and I believe this is at level one of four for the resistance. So on the sled you can either choose between neutral or level one, two, or three. So this is level one, uh, so it's not the lightest, the neutral, but there's still two levels higher. So I got pretty good pace through the sled there. That's a great warm-up intensity. After going through those I got some uh, strap pulls here. So now I'm up to a resistance of, actually I believe this is the full level 3. So this is as much magnetic resistance as the sled can take. I'm going to speed up a little bit here just to get through, just to speed up the video a bit. But yeah, we just have a, a basic belt that's tied around uh, the handles of the sled, leaning back and pulling. I took the resistance level down a little bit on the way back here, so this is at a level one or two, I don't recall. But you can see I can get a little more pace. That's probably level one based on the speed I'm going at. Here we have some laterals. So I've got the elastic tied to the hook of the tank and elastics on my waist. I'm just driving laterally. Great exercise to work your hip stabilizers or glute medius minimus. And of course, Whatever you do on one side, make sure you do it on the other side. So it's nice and smooth. The elastic provides a lot of adjustment to the different tension as you drive through the floor, but that sled is moving at a nice consistent pace. Very nice with, uh, with the tank here. This is a variation to the one I was doing a bit earlier with the strap. So instead of pulling from the straps, I'm going directly on the tank, pulling on the handles. It is a little bit different in that I have, because I'm closer to the tank, I need to get a little bit lower down without uh, kicking my feet into the tank itself. So a little bit more challenging pulling directly on the handles. I'm back to the elastic here. This time I'm doing a straight sprint or a, a chariot pull or a whatever you want to call it, an elastic sprint. So I'm trying to drive as hard as I can through the floor, making sure I don't run into the rower there and that's probably a level three as well. So the nice thing about this sled is uh, I'm doing a whole bunch of different moves here if you will or techniques or drills and it's the same weight that I'm using. I've used 180 pounds for the entire workout. All I'm changing here is just the magnetic resistance on the tank itself. So it's great if you're doing exercises that require a different amount of intensities or if you're doing partner work and one person is a lot stronger than the other, you don't have to keep changing the plates. So you can just change the resistance. Here I'm just doing an upper body push. This one took me a while and got me sweating pretty good. Very challenging through the shoulders. Okay, here I've attached a battle rope. This is a two inch, uh, I believe it's well, 40 foot battle rope I believe. So tied it to the one end of the tank. We've got the full level 3 resistance on and I'm just fireman pulling the rope getting the tank all the way to the end. And then I thought I'd get a little creative here. I wanted to work something else in the lateral plane not just sagittal front back all the time. So something to supplement those laterals with the elastic. Just grabbing one handle side shuffling and pulling off to the side. I felt this immediately in my obliques. You can see here I'm bringing the resistance from a level three down to a two. Level three was just way too much, especially as I started pulling more of the rope. As the rope starts getting uh, 
more pulled out then I'm, I'm pulling more weight of the rope so that became quite challenging I had to take it down from a level 3 to level 2 just to get the tank all the way to the end speed up a little bit here back to the fireman pull and then I'll be going off to the other side so this is an example of a, of a drill that you would not be able to do well at least very comfortably uh, with a regular sled if I tried this with a sled, it would be pulled off to the side. The nice thing about the tank is those wheels grip on the floor and allow you to pull laterally. That was one, probably one of my favorite ones. Not too happy with my low back in there. I'm getting pretty tired. I did a, the whole workout was 100 lengths and I'm probably into the 70s or 80s by now. So this here is with no magnetic resistance on the tank whatsoever. So I've set the setting down to neutral meaning it's just free gliding. So as I build up the speed here, all the momentum of the tank, and I'm not sure how much the machine weighs, I'd have to ask the guys at Fitness Experience, but I've got 180 pounds on the tank, and the tank is probably close to 100 on its own. That might be a little high, but I'm not too sure. Either way, it's a lot of weight, so you get a lot of momentum going on those wheels, and you can see I gotta pull back and work on my deceleration here. So I'm leaning back, because if I did not do that, the tank would keep going and smash the mirror that's up against our brick wall at the back. And I think on this next one, you, I almost lose my grip. I, well, I do lose my grip on my right hand. Luckily, I regain it and uh, I don't end up taking out our front desk shooting this video for you guys. So these were a lot of fun. Get a lot of speed and then pull back and there's the slip. But we got it. And now here we've got the uh, same thing, just a standard push, but this time I'm at level 3 resistance. So you can see I don't quite get the same amount of speed as I was on those lower levels. And here I'm taking quite a break because I'm pretty tired by now. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind have seen a little bit more resistance. I can add more plates, which will make it harder. But um, I'm not a very big strong guy myself and I imagine that uh, for somebody who is it might be nice to have a little bit more resistance on the tank. Alright so I thought I'd just take you through a little bit more of a close-up of the tank itself. Um, so you can see here there's four rugged wheels which will allow you to get over well probably most types of terrain anyway. Uh, definitely a gym floor or outdoors would be perfect or on concrete cement down your back lane. Um, there's two pegs here. This is where you can load up plates. So the unit itself uh, provides its own resistance through the magnetic. Um, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but you can load up extra resistance by adding a plate. So the workout I just did, I had 445, so 180 pounds on the sled, in addition to playing around with the resistance. So down here is where you adjust your resistance level. So there's everything from N is neutral, meaning there's no actual magnetic resistance taking place. So it pretty much just rolls fairly easily, which is great if you want to work on decelerations because you can build up a lot of momentum, uh, especially if there's a lot of weight on there. Uh, build up a lot of momentum, a lot of speed, and then you've got to use your uh, eccentric uh, loading to slow it down. So great for deceleration work. And then you can see here there's level 1, 2, and 3 from uh, or lighter to heavier resistance. Handles, they're uh, very sturdy. They come up, which I like, fairly tall. Um, a lot of the sleds you gotta get really low on, which is okay, but this definitely is going to accommodate some clients uh, that can't get very low with the sled. And it's on both sides, so you're not turning it around, which is a good thing, because this thing doesn't take corners very well. Um, it keeps a fairly straight line, which is nice, but if you do, uh, start losing your straight line as I was doing a couple times in the workout then you got to kind of push it side to side a little bit to get your line again but for the most part that's not a concern and it's also got some uh, uh, some hooks on either side so you can uh, carry a beaner or uh, tie your ropes or straps or whatever to the unit itself so you can do pull work uh, as well as the push based work. I think that's about it. Uh, if you get a chance, definitely check out this uh, machine. It's new from Torque Fitness. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of fun, great workout. And that's about it. Thanks very much.